honestly spent a bit too much time on this one. Uh, let's let's just keep going at the top. Keep the keep the top tier games rolling, and then we'll just start rolling downhill from there. Uh, we got the Flesh Pit by uh, Frankie Smile Show, who is always excellent. Uh, he's working on Barclay Shut Up and Jam Gaiden Two, which is surely to be a good RPG game. As well as his own horror RPG thing. Barclay 2 looks to be gigantic. Like, just looking at the sheet of guns that Frankie's made is utterly massive because there's like different skins for every single gun. And so he has to make every single gun, and then he has to add in every single skin for every single gun. And there's like 20 something guns, plus so far, like. I don't know, like 30-something skins. And it gets massive. It gets absolutely massive. Anyway, he made this game. Which is a, um action platformer where your enemies explode into meat and you have to deal with the meat blocks. Just gotta deal with it. Um... So, uh, well, let's just let's let's just go over go over thing. The God of Flesh demands flesh tribute. Wish to may pay me flesh tribute. Slay monsters to accumulate meat. Eric used to move, exit jumps, either attack. Up C is throw, down C is pick up. Throwing a weapon is very powerful, but severely damages the item. Good. Uh, what are we looking at? Okay. Zoop. So, uh, take a second to soak this in. I was there when he made this track. It's just his voice in Audacity heavily modified. Like, it's three channels. The second one was reversed and pulse stretched. Okay, that bit's new, I think. I didn't, I didn't hear that one when he made it, but uh, he also made most of the sound effects this, in a similar way by just doing weird sounds into his microphone. Um, so he obviously didn't work on the art as much as he normally does, because even though, because even though like this whole flesh demon thing is impressive um the monsters all look like this for their flat shapes and like you can tell what they are but not really any detail work a lot of what he generally does is, is the quality of uh crap my mouse isn't being captured by there we go 
Can I make this bigger? Will it break? It will not break. That's good. Let's do this. Just do this. There we go. Fine white powder. Oh no. White flour. Yeah, so anyway, Frankie you normally does like this quality of work on everything. In fact, uh, this, I remember watching him doing this. He did this within like the last 30 minutes of the jam. Like the within the last 30 minutes he just sketched this up and threw it in the background. Guys, guys, awesome. I couldn't do that in 30 minutes. Okay. But how does the game play? Hey guy. Wah is a good one. So I have this distinct problem where there's like a bunch of guys over there. I guess I'm gonna Minecraft my way over. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I just lost that sword, too. It's a chest. Is that a doppelganger? Okay, I didn't realize that weapons act... I should have realized that weapons have durability. Because, like, it says so. I like throwing it. Ruins the durability. Yeah. Offered 76 pounds of fresh meat. <laughs> Borderline questionable. No, it's good. Probably. These little guys are, uh... Actually the worst. No, give me a sword. Okay. Oh yeah, Turbo was playing that, wasn't he? That's like... I don't think he knows how to feel about... Refrain. Okay, so like... The real problem is 
That, like, movement's not great, because I'm sure it wasn't polished very much. Oh, okay. Clipped. Kind of clipped. Another problem is these guys have like an impossibly small hitbox. Like, if I'm on top of them, I can't hit them. That's a big issue. Which is. What the heck? Oh, hey! Club! I got me one. Yeah. Hey, look! It's the... It's a big guy. You're a big guy. Can I be safe here in my... Is that a... Is that a dragon slayer? Be Dragon Slayer now, boys. Ooh. Okay, now we got the meat. What is that? It drops meat for the meat god. Okay. This game's good now. Look at this game being good. game's got a lot more monsters than I thought. Hammer. Okay, so like... Is that Meat Boy? Makes sense. Okay. What are you? Reaching the top now. Uh, I just want. I I just want this guy. What the heck? He's gone now. Now we have a lot of things on screen that I can't do much with. This will be it for me. 
I'm off screen. Ah, uh, can I not come back in? I cannot come back in bounds. I think this is a soft lock. I can't even take damage from the fish guy. I win. In infinite meat for the meat god. What is that? Well, I think we've seen all the monsters. I didn't get to kill them all, but they're all there. I can't even attack from out here. Oh well. That's a lot of fish guys. Oh well. Um, ah, real monsters? Is that what you're thinking? Because Frankie kind of has that, that style of like, um, he's got that style where it can make legitimately kind of creepy, scary things, but he's always got this, um, cartoon aspect about it. Dudes in costumes? Uh... I don't know. I, I don't know, unless you're thinking like... Uh... Yeah, no, I don't know what that could be. But like, Frankie has that style of... He can make legitimately creepy things, but with this slightly cartoony touch to it. And it's not like he can't get under your skin if he wants to, but a lot of the times it just ends up being slightly, like, cartoony. Not even slightly, it just actually is. It's unique. Um, so, like, the game's not bad, it's just lacks polish. Like the player hitboxes thing being weird, the UI might need some redesigning because I can't tell. Or not even, maybe not even UI, just like some more player feedback for when a weapon breaks. Like if he, if he had taken the second to make a sound effect for when the weapon broke, which I don't think he did. Um... That would have helped, and he probably just forgot. What is this? Oh, friggin'. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was a show. That was a show that was more recent than you think. Um... Oh, I never even got to see uh, this guy. Looks like a zombie? May have never spawned. Uh, okay. So, like, it's not bad. It just needs polish. It needs the hitboxes. Hitboxes need to cover the player in some way so you can actually hit things when they're inside your own hitbox um... polish up the 
not really movement, but like like being able to attack in midair, you can't do it all the time. Because I was trying to do it a lot, and sometimes I would get it, sometimes not. And I understand weapons like the Greatsword having a slow startup time and never really coming off is fine, but I just can't consistently get the attack off. I think... So Castlevania generally solves this by canceling the animation when you land, so that no matter what you do after you land, you can always attack again, which is what leads to uh, jump canceling, or fall canceling, really. Um, more iframes is... yeah. Like, the game's basically there. It's just polish. And the and I'm pretty sure Frankie's not going to come back to this. Just because that's not what he does. It was... Like, to him, this is probably just an exercise. Which is fair enough. And besides, he's got... He's got all that work on Barclay and his own horror RPG. Which is looking really cool, honestly. meat out of 10. It's got a great mood, uh, humor kind of, basically. It's, the humor is this weird thing to where like, um, so like the humor comes in the sound, like the, the backtrack and the, the sound effects and the goofy, goofy meat demons. In the whole over the top, who's what's it? So it's it's certainly there, but I don't think it's I don't think it's necessarily trying to be humorous. It's just natural, because like that's just what Frankie does. It's natural, without like trying to be, which isn't bad, but I don't know. Audio is absolutely fantastic. Five out of five for that just into your mic. Uh, graphics, I'm like, I obviously can't give too high marks for graphics when he didn't even finish the monsters, but it's because, like, he can do this work with, on the on like the tiles, and the tiles look excellent, and he did that. That was another thing he did on the last day during like crunch time is like, oh, I should probably just clean up the tiles and make some background tiles. Oh, and make this demon. So probably, you know, you should probably do that. And so he makes this instead of like refining any of the monsters. Well, it's not that they're simple, it's that they're sketchy. Like, there's no refinement on them. When... Especially if you've looked at stuff Frankie's already done, you could... You can see, like, how amazing they could have actually looked if given time. It's not a detriment. Well... I guess it is... Detriment? Nidhogg 1. Ah, oh, my voice broke. I'm... my throat is really dry. I don't normally talk this much. I'm not used to it. Um... Well, Nidhogg, Nidhogg 1 had a really simple style because... I feel like they needed to be really clear with the game. And maybe they just didn't have the art team for it. So they did something simple and it's fine and it works. But like in this case, I know Frankie can do better. And I've seen him do better even in other LDs. So like... No. Oh. Yeah. Ah. For because 
what it four stars because what is there is actually really good. It's just that a lot of the more important things like the player, the monsters, whatever, could have been refined. And I'm sure if given time, like if given time, but everything would have looked great. But the thing is, the reason we do these is because there isn't time. There's no time. Runs well with the theme. Um, I feel like I've I've seen a game that does a similar concept. Can't remember what it is, but that puts innovation at high marks. High marks. Um. not actually fun and the reason it's not very fun comes more from some of the mechanical polish like the polish is just not there and it just feels like the game cheats you out of some things or it doesn't convey things well enough because of the time constraints and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, I'll have to come back to these that I'm doing and write an actual uh, comment. Uh. Artwork weapon mechanics. Wish I could set to full screen. It's resizable. Uh, movement and air while attacking. Sound effects are great. Guess I'm just checking over. Just seeing what people, other people have to say, because get more perspectives. Um, oh, so like another thing was that I feel like the game started off, so the game starts off pretty slow, and I think that's okay because you know like you start off slow and then you get up higher and you get bigger monsters and you get more different weapons and it ramps up and that's fine but if you like start dying or you die too easily during the like the first uh, level the the bottom area then it's it's just no fun to be able to never get to that, to the upper part where, where it's good. So like, not necessarily make it faster at the beginning, but maybe make it easier, which just again comes down to polishing the um, mechanics. It's more iframes, more... Um, smoother combat and all that. Give me a second. But yeah, the ramp up the ramp up in this game is really cool to like start at small I guess ugh. I guess simple ish monsters and then get up to the top and you have like this flying fish that just 
spits meat down. You have Meat Boy, basically. You have whatever that wide thing is, that worm thing, and that's when it gets really good because you get these big monsters, and Frankie's good at drawing big monsters. Um, oh, yeah, he also did this as part of the compo, not the jam. So he only had 48 hours instead of the 72 that uh, we had for our dinky little game. Which wasn't even really 72 because I kind of just did one day of work. It just, I didn't have a lot of time on my hands. Compo is super scary. That's why he usually ends up turning his games into jams, because like he works on compo, and he either doesn't finish or wants to do more. And so he just turns it into a jam and keeps going for a little while. Uh... Yeah, so good game. Good game, Frankie.